What's going on everybody, I'm YouTube's ProPJ and welcome to This Is Forever. Now this game might be a little bit abstract. Um, this is a game where you, they use music to convey a mood. So I don't know how well this is going to be for gameplay, but I really wanted to try it. Um, so this is either going to be a great video or it's going to be terrible. Um, but none, nonetheless, it's so beautiful, like graphically, it's fantastic. And I think you guys can recognize that by the, by the, uh, kind of credit scene just here. That it's going to be a fantastically beautifully designed game. So let's get in and play. Here we go. Wow. So, this entire game is using music to convey mood. That's that's what I've heard. Ah, oh, it's so cool. The mountains, everything, it's so cool. So you follow this path. I think. No, you choose your own paths. And whichever way you go... Conveys different moods, apparently. But I want to go where the light is. What the fuck? God, look at the visuals, man. It's so cool. What, are we, what is this? A cemetery? Wow. What are you? You're a guitar. An old guitar. Left click. Ooh. What do I do? Do I... Do anything with you? Is there another beacon? Three memories left to pass. Oh yeah, that's it. So you're acquiring memories as well. And putting your guy's story together. And that's what this game basically is. You're grabbing your memories and trying to put uh, all of your memories back together. Which was really cool. Um, like concept for me using music to convey a mood and then trying to have this little story of trying to gather your memories and try to regather your thoughts was something that really intrigued me so that's why I wanted to play this okay there's the other beacon I'm not gonna be editing a lot if any of this by the way so I'm sorry if there's parts where I just don't talk and just kind of gush over the visuals um because I feel like this is one of those games where you have to kind of experience it along with me. But God, this is so cool. So there's one there, and there's one just here. Oh, this is cool. It forces you to kind of go around the map. It's a neat design. Wow. So we got a guitar, and now we've got a fishing rod, of course. Because why wouldn't you? <laughs> ah, it's so cool. Can I jump? Oh, <gasps> I can. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, the physics are so cool. Oh, man, look at the level of detail. Like, detailing the cracks in the ground and everything. So, this is up on Game Jolt as well. I'll be leaving a link in the description for you guys. You guys can go up and play this. Um, and I really do recommend you go and support this studio, at least. Who make these kind of incredible games? What do we got here? A house key. Wow. Oh, it's so cool. So that's it. Is there a gate here that I can use? Is is there a gate? Or do I have to go back? I have to go back. Okay. Whee! <laughs> Ah, uh, it's so cool. I wonder if I can swim, though. Will I die if I swim? Or attempt to swim? See, this simple atmospheric music, it really does set the mood for this game. <gasps> oh, I can go in it. That's so cool. Can I duck? No? Ah, oh, that's so neat. This is really cool. Alright, so let's go back over to where the gate is. And we should be able to progress now. Because we have the key. We got our fishing rod. We got our guitar. We got everything. 
Unless I'm missing one, which I doubt. Actually, I don't doubt it. I'm pretty stupid. Anyway. Ah, oh, it's so cool being able to like just freely jump around. I like these kind of games. Because, like, don't get me wrong, like the really big games like your GTAs and everything, they're really well designed and everything. But it's so cool to see what people can do with, like, such a simple engine as well. Open. Oh, it's so cool. Because the Unity engine is not the most complex engine. Ooh. Are we... Are we heading into something dangerous? A bit dangerous? A bit scandalous? And this is what I love about this game in particular. When I read the bio, it's like the music shifts throughout the game and it slowly starts shifting moods uh, that was that was intriguing to me so that's why we're playing this what are you a broken glass okay kind of want to ask why but I feel like we're gonna get that answer soon oh god look at it Look how lush it is! Oh, the level of detail and everything. I can't just fall off here. Okay. Oh, oh, geez. Okay, apparently I can. Where is it? There. Oh, it's so cool because you have to run through the grass and everything. It's so nice. A wedding ring. Oh. Maybe not a happy memory? I don't know, maybe he got divorced? Wow. I'm, I'm liking how every time I pick up an item as well, it's bringing in like a new thing into the music. So, I brought, like, I picked up the wedding ring and it brought in those, those voices that... Kind of thing. That's cool. What is this going to be? Wow. This is... Oh, children's note. We had a child? We love you. Oh. Where's the... Don't tell me that the kid died or something. That's... <laughs> okay. Can we go through? Yes. Wow, this is nifty, and it's laid out so freaking well. Oh, up the stairs. What? This music's kind of motivating. I can dig this. It's like that music, that, that motivational music that they play when you're trying to achieve something. Like running up the stairs. It's like when the Rocky theme plays when um, he's running up and down those stairs. It's awesome. Oh, it's so cool. I don't know how long this is either. I'm going to play the whole one episode. Oh, it's dying down. What's at the top of this hill? Whoa. That's so cool. Do I go... I'm guessing I go down? Wow. I mean, it's a simple engine and it's like a simple design, but it's so effective and cool. These kind of games, they, they impress me so much. And it, and it surprises me that, like, these games are up on, like, Game Jolt of all things, and they're not, like, kind of bigger than they, they should be. It's like Presentable Liberty. Like, that game is up on Game Jolt for free. And it's surprising to me that it's not, like, a major thing now. Wow. 
What am I running towards, though? That's the question. Am I running towards freedom or despair? I think that's what it's meant to be kind of making you think about. Wow. Do I just run straight out into the ocean? Really? Whoa. Whoa! Oh no, did I die? Oh no. I died? Did I die? I mean, it's so simplistic, and yet it's bringing up a lot of things that... Uh, a lot of difficult kind of things. It's just making me remember them. Wow. This game is so good. So that's like the ascension into heaven after you die. That's what that is meant to... is meant to... Symbolize. I'm just remembering a, a couple of people that I've lost recently, and it's it's a little hard. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna focus on that because I don't I want to continue. Wow, not gone forever. This is forever. Love is forever. Wow. So that... That's what the game was meant to be about. It was meant to be about the journey of trying to recollect your memories, think of all the good times, um, and then you pass on to the next life. Um, and I did see in the description that it was uh, they said it does deal with some some things and it will bring up uh, if you've lost someone recently it will probably bring up a lot of emotions and that really did make me think about a lot of the people that uh, that I, I've, I've recently recently lost but that message in that game is fantastic right at the end it says they're not gone forever because the love will still remain and I believe that is the utmost truth. I really do believe that. I believe, I even though people are gone, the memories and the love that you share with them stay with you forever, for a lifetime. And if you ever, if you ever feel sad about them be not being there or whatever, you can kind of think fondly back to those memories. And that's what that was meant to be suggesting. Wow. I'm glad I played this. I really am. Um, I'm sorry that it was a little bit simplistic and there wasn't a lot to it, but it made me think of a lot of stuff. So I hope you guys had a kind of similar experience while watching this. I'm not saying, like, I'm hoping that you've lost someone recently. I'm saying if you have unfortunately lost someone, I hope that this has brought up the same kind of feelings that I'm feeling right now. And I hope that you guys got everything that you could out of out of watching this um wow uh thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to favorite it and don't forget to subscribe guys helps me out a lot there are links to my social media in the description box you can go off and get some Popey jm merch down in the description box and you can go off and listen to our podcast uh links to that is all in the description um, I hope this video has made whatever day you are having just that little bit better. And if it has, please share it with someone on Facebook, Twitter, on your wherever, to make their day just that little bit better. Until next time, I'm YouTube's Propy JN. Peace out.